Praise God, family. Hallelujah. God bless you. Good evening. Good morning. Just fix my camera. It is bent. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. You alone are worthy, Jesus. You alone are worthy, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. You alone are worthy, Emmanuel. You alone are worthy, Emmanuel. Praise the Lord. Let's watch the Lord before we, you know, receive the word of the Lord today. God is cutting something down. God is cutting something down. This word is so prophetic. My God. And we're going to come into agreement with the Lord concerning what the Lord has said of what he's cutting down in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, you are so beautiful. Lord, you are so powerful. In a Mandela la We welcome your presence, Lord Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. We welcome your presence, Lord Holy Spirit of the Living God. God bless you all in Jesus' mighty name. Let us pray before we begin to receive the word of the Lord today. Let's ask the Lord for mercy also in Jesus' mighty name. And let's pray for the network to stabilize on this life tonight in jesus mighty name thank god for yesterday's word thank god for yesterday's word thank god for yesterday's word yesterday's word blessed me yesterday who was here yesterday on the live stream the lord bless you hallelujah if you missed last night's live stream please find time to play back amen thank you lord jesus he's good he's awesome he's marvelous something is being cut down in jesus mighty name Welcome once again to the week of miracles. I am declaring by faith that this week is a, is a week of miracles. This week is the week of Psalm 77, 14. For all of us in the Montgomery Church, only those that have faith to believe it and are ready to receive it will receive a miracle this week in Jesus' mighty name. I said to you last night, I said, when you wake up in the morning, declare Psalm 77, verse 14 over yourself. And I also said, before you go to sleep, Declare the same scripture over yourself, and if they can do it at the middle of the day, do it as well. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! My God is a good God. Amen, amen, amen. My God is a good God. Yes, he is. My God is a good God. Yes, he is. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! The Lord is going to cause somebody to be my God, what just came to my spirit is joy. There is joy. There is joy. God is releasing his joy over many. He's, he's just causing you to just be joyful for no reason. My God, the Lord will cause you to be joyful for no reason. By his spirit, by his spirit, the Lord will cause many in the body of Christ in this hour to be joyful. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Father, we welcome your presence. We adore you. We love you. We worship we worship you, Lord. Power and your glory and your promises, Lord, because they are yes and amen, Lord. You have not withheld any good thing, Lord, from your children, from your people. And we love you. We love you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for the gift of life, for the air we breathe, for all you've done, for all that you are yet to do, because you are the God that is too faithful to fill. You are a promise keeper. You are a way maker. You are the light in the darkness. Father, we thank you for this hour. As we guard the Lord in Jesus' mighty name, we are asking, Lord, that you will come and manifest your power 
manifest your presence manifest your glory manifest the lord your person in jesus mighty name lord holy spirit open the ears of those O oh lord that have been struggling to hear your voice and follow your leading in jesus mighty name open their ears in the name of the lord jesus christ of nazareth lord and give many tonight understanding confirmation lord freedom healing breakthrough victory and the joy of the holy ghost that will overflow from their spirit outwardly blessed be your name father god and not me for this word lord help me to speak words of truth and words of grace that will empower your people in jesus mighty name let me among god church say amen the lord bless you all in jesus mighty name hallelujah thank you lord jesus hallelujah let's just pray that this network as well will be stable like throughout the entire thing praise the lord amen 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 hello debbie god bless you good to see you hallelujah thank you lord jesus sylvia god bless you patricia the lord bless you hallelujah Good to see you all. By the grace of God, God bless you. Mary, God bless you. Daniela, God bless you. Scott, God bless you. Good to see you. Lisa, God bless you. God bless you, sis. Good to see you. Neymar, God bless you. Carol, God bless you. Uh, daughter, daughter of a king, God bless you. Cynthia, God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. All the world's a stage, God bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I love you all so much. Okay, you all, I want to get into this word. Now, the Lord gave me a word last year on the 30th of September. The Lord gave me a word last year on the 30th of September. Can you all hear me and see me clearly? Let, 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 let me know. Let me know, please. Let me know, please. Let me know if you can hear me and see me. I'm looking in the live chat to see somebody respond. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Okay, awesome. Thank you so much, Sylvia. God bless you. All right, so the Lord gave me a word on the 30. 30 of December 2022, he gave me this word. But he didn't give me the word to come and give to you and say, you know, um, share this with the ministry. You know, sometimes there are some words that you that the Lord will give to you, and you know that He's definitely speaking to you, to you, and you don't feel led in your spirit to share with anybody. Oh my god. But what I did was, even after the Lord gave me that word, I believe I came on a live stream in September and i released this um i you know prayed with you all a, a scripture that i found that really blessed me right so i prayed over you all so it was a full live stream um and, and i said to you all i said the lord is cutting some things off amen and he's lifting you up as he's cutting some things off he's lifting you up now the word the lord gave to me on the 30 of September 2022 praise the Lord let me let me get my notes up so the Lord spoke to me at 7 36 a.m. I was I was waiting upon the Lord and he spoke to me at 7 36 a.m. on the 30th of September the Lord gave me these exact words I'm cutting the head of your enemies I am cutting the heads of your enemies. September 30, 2022, 7.36 a.m. I am cutting the heads of your enemy. Now, why have I come back now after this, this couple of months? Uh, something that the Father God gave to me last year to come and give you this word in 2023. Because I was led. Because I was led, you all because i was led by the holy spirit of god that's the only way i can explain it to you all right now i'm led to release this word because some of us in the body of christ we need to hear this reminder of the lord we need to be reminded of what the lord wants to do in this time in, in this hour as we are waiting and trusting the lord for miracles to happen in our lives this actually is one of those big miracles where the Lord wants to cut down the head of your enemies. The Lord wants to cut down the heads of those things 
that you've struggled with, those things that, you know, that have, you know, um, held on to you for so long. God is cutting those things down. Those people that have laughed at you, those people that have shamed you, God is cutting their heads down. In other words, the Lord is bringing shame and reproach and sorrow and affliction upon your enemies because they were because they were the ones that were trying to bring those things upon you there were people that have visited native doctors to try to do voodoo juju carried your name carried your picture carried whatever you know of you know your item that you may have given them some time ago and people that have just just for no, for no just cause right there are people like that right and all they wanted to do was just perform witchcraft over you to hinder you to stop you my god but the lord is cutting them down god is in other words causing these people to bow down to you child of god lord holy spirit help me today to release this word have mercy hallelujah i'm decreeing and declaring over somebody right now god is cutting down the heads of your enemy the lord god almighty is causing your enemies to bow down at your feet the lord gave me this same similar word in 2020 God gave me this one in 2020. I don't even have the note here. I can't even remember where I wrote it. I have this big pile of notebook where I put everything God said to me in 2018, 2019, and 2020. And in 2020, I remember the Lord told me, he, he gave me this word. He said to me, how do enemies to bow down before you? I remember I was in the bathroom. Oh my God. I know when I heard those words, I, ha I hadn't even gone far with New Mongolia Church at all. Like we were still new. And I know when I heard that, I, I thought to myself, oh my God, Dean, you're going crazy. There's no way anybody's going to bow down before you. Like, are you going crazy? You just actually said that to yourself. Then something made me go into Google to check if there was a scripture like that. My God. You all don't even understand. Listen, when God wants to do something, he prepares you for what he wants to do. To see before your eyes. Hallelujah. Listen, Isaiah 60 verse 14 says this. It says, the sons of those who afflicted you, the sons of those who afflicted you shall come bending low to you shall come bending low to you and all who despise you shall bow down at your feet ah, shall bow down at your feet all those who despise you all those who don't like you all those who hate you they detest you they can't even stand your presence why because your light is shining brighter than theirs they haven't even got any light all that their lives are filled with is darkness but god God is saying he's cutting these people down. God is saying he's about to humble them. They will be humbled. They will bow down at your feet. Hallelujah. Shalibrado Sokoto Pamanda. He says they shall call you the city of the Lord. Ah, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Shalibrado Sokoto Pamanda Katafaya. It's so amazing. It's powerful, you all. So when the Lord told me, I will cause your enemies to bow down before you when I was in the shower in 2020, I definitely thought to myself that I was going crazy. Because I said, who in the world is going to bow down before me? I was like, Lord, I don't want anyone to bow down before me because like, I'm not God, Lord. I'm not you. But like, did you really just tell me that? I'm not you, Lord. I think that was just a voice in my head saying, I will cause my own enemies to bow down before me. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Right? I think maybe I was just trying to be humble or something, but but truly, truly, I thought to myself, there is no way. No, I am not God, and I don't want anybody to bow down before me. And when I received the revelation of the, the scripture of how you know um you know God has, has spoken about you know our enemies bowing down before us, like it literally hit me like, oh yes my enemies will have to bow down before me 
hallelujah my enemies will have to bow because the lord said that he will make our enemies our what footstool so in order for our enemies to be our footstool they have to bow down god has to cut them down god has to bring them low to lower themselves to the ground to bend over so i can put my feet upon their head god will cut some things that have tried to ride over you that have tried to sit over you that have tried to press you down that have laughed at you that have mocked you that have shamed you that have taken your things and belonging to places uh, to cast evil spells and witchcraft and all sorts of things that have hindered you and delayed you in your life god will cast those things to bow before you god will cast you to rise up over those things and those people or those evil gatherings god will cut them down they will bow before you there could be somebody here even god has been showing you the face of this person in your dream that this person your family is not pure they hate you for nothing because you have done nothing wrong to them you haven't even done or even spoken any negativity about them you actually love these people there's some people in your family they go to places they take your name and take your belongings and they begin to try to perform some kind of witchcraft to work against you to try to slow you down or hinder you or drag you backwards in life but the devil is a liar because the lord is saying to you right now my child i am cutting them down i am cutting down the heads of your enemies there are some things that have lasted and you know lingered you know and held on for so long for too long the attacks on your life the affliction the burdens, everything the Lord is saying, I'm cutting the heads of your enemies. Does somebody have faith to believe this word of the Lord that he gave to me on the 30th of September at 7, 10, 6 a.m.? Does somebody have faith to believe that God has spoken this word? If you do not believe the Lord wants to cut down the heads of your enemies, please don't believe me. Take the word to the Lord in your quiet time. Pray and ask for confirmation, and he'll confirm it to you. If indeed he's cutting down the heads of your enemies, if indeed his word has said it in scripture that he's cutting down the heads of your enemies. Hallelujah. The Lord will bless you when you believe his word and believe the one that he has said to you. He will bless you and deliver you. But I don't want to force anybody to believe the word of the Lord. May God grant you grace to believe. So that you come to see in that hour, your moment, where God is exalting you. And bringing your enemies low before you. Micah 5, 9, 11 and 15, it says, Your hand shall be lifted against your adversaries and all your enemies shall be cut off somebody say cut off somebody say cut off my enemies are being cut off in the name of jesus christ of nazareth we're going to pray it says and all your enemies shall be what newman gospel church it says and all your enemies shall be cut off it says the lord is saying now i will cut off the cities of your land and throw down all your strongholds and i will and, and i will execute vengeance in anger and fury on the nations that have not heard hallelujah the lord is saying all your enemies shall be cut off god is cutting off the head of that thing that has been monitoring you the lord is cutting it off in jesus mighty name father god have mercy in the name of jesus christ upon your people and begin to cut off those things that have been monitoring your people that have been causing them to be sick over and over and over again those things lord that have held on to them for so long in the name of jesus christ 
of Nazareth. I command that thing. Let it be cut down. Let it be cut off in Jesus' mighty name. Child of God, the Lord is cutting off the head of your enemies. Even right now, as I speak, God is moving on your behalf, but you don't even know it. The Lord is sending the host of, of the heaven angels out on your behalf to war against those that war against you to contend with those that contend against you to bring confusion and calamity to the to, to the camp of your enemies the lord is cutting the head of your enemies god father god is causing your enemies to bow down at your feet to bow down and worship the God in you. They will have reverence for the God in you. They will come to fear and trust the God that they see in you. That's why they bow down. Because now they see that yes, I am that I am is truly with them. They have no choice but to submit. They have no choice but to surrender. They have no choice but to obey. They have no choice but to give up on you. They have no choice but to turn their backs. They have no choice but to prostrate before you. They have no choice but to quit the evil spells and the attacks on, that is placed upon you. They have no choice. They have to surrender. They have to bow down before you, child of God. Their children will bow before you. That's what the word of God says. Your tormentors will bow before you, child of God. Libra do sokoto shagaraba na kata seketa pamanda ika brakato shakande palibra kata yaraba. Child of God, I'm not just here to prophesy over you. I'm here to pray with you and connect my faith with your faith. And the Lord God Almighty that gave me this word on the 30th of September at 7:36 a.m. that He is indeed cutting off the head of your enemies. Open up your your mouth right now and begin to ask for the Lord's mercy and say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth in accordance with your word in the book of Micah 5. Lord, cut down the head of my enemies. Lord, cut down the head of my enemies. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Lord God Almighty is cutting down the head of your enemies. Open up your mouth, child of God, and decree and declare over yourself, Lord, cut down the head of my enemies. The head of your enemies have been cut down child of God. The head of your enemies have been cut down child of God. The head of that thing that's refused to leave your family alone. The head of that evil thing, that evil altar that has refused to leave your family alone. The Lord is cutting it down. The Lord is cutting it down. The Lord is cutting it down. The Lord is cutting idols. I hear in my spirit right now. The Lord is cutting out idols. There's some idols in your family. There's some idols in your life. The Lord is cutting down idols in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Lord is causing those powers in those evil shrines to be cut down in Jesus mighty name. There's some shrines and some rivers where they've taken your name to, where they've taken your picture to. I decree in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth by the power of the Holy Spirit they have been cut down. Those evil powers, those evil altars that are servicing negativity in your life. God is cutting them down. God is shutting them down in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Lord is saying, He says, I will throw down all your stronghold. Whatsoever has had a stronghold on you that should not have a stronghold on you. Father God is throwing it down tonight in Jesus' mighty name. Every stronghold has been thrown down tonight. It's been thrown down tonight. It's been cut down tonight uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Whatsoever has a stronghold on you, every evil stronghold, uh, every witch stronghold, uh, demonic stronghold, uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let the stronghold be cut down. <clears throat> let the strongholds uh, be cut down. Let the head of your enemies be cut down. Let the head of your enemies be cut down. Let the evil strongholds be cut down. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because your God is able. Somebody say, my God is able to deliver. My God is able to save. My God is able 
to give me the victory. Hallelujah. It says, and I will execute vengeance. Hallelujah. I will execute vengeance in anger. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Shalabrado sukotopa mana wa shekelia. God is cutting the head of your enemies. The Lord said in his word, he says, they shall be utterly cut off. They shall be what? Utterly cut off. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In God's word, in Nahum 1.15, the Lord says, Behold, on the mountains, the feet of him who brings good tidings. Good tidings is coming to many of us in the body of Christ in this hour. You don't even know, you can't even see or perceive or even smell it. But good tidings are coming as the Lord is beginning to deal with your enemies. There are good tidings coming to you. God is dealing with your enemies. God is dealing with your enemies. God is oppressing those that have oppressed you and is bringing the spoils to you. Child of God, I said, the Lord is dealing with your enemies. You may not be able to see what is happening right now with the spirit, but the Lord is dealing with your enemies. The Lord is punishing your enemies. The Lord is attacking your attackers. God is sending an ambush upon your enemies. Oh, the Lord is asking for right now. He's saying, will you wait upon me? Will you seek me? Will you trust me in this hour? The battle you've been fighting for so long, I've actually been fighting this battle and now I'm about to show you and reveal to you that yes, what I said is what I said, that you have got the victory, my child. I only needed you to wait on me for a little bit longer and see how I bring your two feet to the ground where you can stand once again and say, hallelujah, God has done it for me. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. It says, who proclaims peace? Oh, Judah, keep your appointed feast. Perform your vows, for the wicked one shall no more pass through you. For the wicked one shall no more pass through you. He is utterly cut off. He is utterly cut off, says the word of the Lord. This is King James, you all. He says, for the wicked one shall no more pass through you. I prophesy over somebody here today that has faith to believe that the wicked one, the enemy, the witch, that witch that has been tormenting you, afflicting you in the daytime, in your sleep, in the nighttime, they shall no more come to attack you. They shall no more try to abuse you. They shall no more oppress you. Hallelujah. The Lord is saying, they shall be utterly cut off. God is cutting them off, child of God. There's some things that you've seen for a long time. The Lord is going to cause you not to see them anymore. My God, what did we say last night, child of God? What was the word last night? What was the word last night? The Egyptians that you've seen, oh my God, you will see them no more, child of God. You will see them no more, child of God. This is the hour for the manifestation of the sons of God. You thought you were never going to make it. Guess what? The devil is a liar because you have made it. God is dealing with your enemies. You don't even know it. And he's about to lift you up. Lift you up and bring you into the spotlight. Because you've allowed him to walk on your heart. You've allowed him to prune you and prepare you. You've allowed him to purge you and purify you and cleanse you. My goodness, you have no idea, child of God. The Lord is cutting off the head of those things that have proven stubborn and proven powerful and proven mightier than him. God is cutting them down. God is cutting them down. They've had their time. They should have changed their mind and left you alone. My goodness. The Lord is cutting those things and those persons and those altars down. Now he's doing it. Now he's doing it. Now he's doing it, child of God. I did not declare this week as the week of miracles for nothing. I did not declare this week as the week of miracles for nothing. Your attackers 
and your afflictors and your oppressors and your mockers they should have taken a different turn but they chose to keep pursuing you now god is gonna cause you to begin to pursue them overtake them and recover all in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah praise the lord praise god praise yahweh praise jehovah praise your mighty warrior do not quit do not give up god is fighting a battle that you cannot see on your behalf he's doing this he's doing this he's doing this child of god god is doing it you will see and you will wonder hallelujah you will see and you will wonder in the name of jesus christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Deuteronomy 28, verse 7. Look at what it says. It says, The Lord will grant that the enemies who rise up against you will be defeated before you. The Lord will cause, sorry, the Lord will grant that the enemies who rise up against you, the people who have risen up against you, because many of you actually know them. But some of you, you don't even know that they're actually spiritual entities and spiritual bodies. In heavenly realms, some of them are in the sea, marine spirits. Hmm. The Lord will grant that the enemies who rise up against you will be defeated before you. I tell you, child of God. The Lord will cause them to be defeated before you. Which means God is giving you victory over them over their plans over their plot god is giving you victory over what they intended against you god is giving you the victory and the lord will cause them to be defeated before your very eyes because the god of miracles is beginning to move on your behalf my god i told you all this very week is a week where god will display miracles in some of our life we will see many of us that have been living right and living righteously and serving him you will see god move in your favor this week as he begins to cut down the heads of your enemies hallelujah Miracles will take place. And when those miracles take place, your enemies, they will have no choice but to bow before you. When they see how God comes in and stands on your side, when they see how the Lord uses you so powerfully, even uses you to the extent that you are able to bring about deliverance to some people. When they see the sign and the wonder and the power of God displayed in your life, they will bow before you. God has given you the victory over the devil. God has given you the victory over witches and wizards, oppressors and demons. Wherever they are, whatever they are. Habilis or whatever they call themselves. God has given you the victory over them because he said in his word, he says, those that have risen up against you, hallelujah, that they will be defeated. They will be defeated. They will be defeated before you. The people that have risen up against you, those that have opened up their mouth against you, those that choose to stand up against you, those that choose to take their legs into those juju places to, you know, speak evil, evil things against you, to plan evil against you. They, they've got to give their money unto these people to plan evil against you. The Lord is causing them to be defeated before you. He's given you the victory. Hallelujah. He says they will come at you from one direction, but flee from you in several they will flee from you in several. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 1.19 says, They will fight against you, but not overcome you. For I am with you and will rescue you. This is the hour of rescue for many. The enemy has been fighting against you, fighting and fighting and fighting. And the Lord is saying, they will not overcome you. 
it looks like I'm about to be overcome by this thing. It looks like I'm about to be overcome and drowned by this thing, by this person. It looks like they're about to win over me. It looks like they're about to win. They're about to win. It looks like I've lost every single one of these battles lord it looks like i have no more hope it just looks like this is it for me lord it looks like it looks like it looks like but it's not it is not it is not it is not what it actually looks like god said they will not overcome you this is for I am with you. I will rescue you. This is your hour of rescue. I prophesy over somebody here today. This is your hour of rescue, child of God. This is your hour of rescue, child of God. The Lord is rescuing you in every way in your health, in your family, your marriage, your finance, your business. God is bringing rescue. God is turning things around in your favor. The tables have turned, my child. The tables have turned, my child. It's time for you to have that good laugh. It's time for you to sing again. It's time for you to dance again. It's time for you to celebrate. It's time for you to be congratulated. Hallelujah. It's time for you to receive those keys that you've been waiting for. It's time for you to see your financial breakthrough. It's time for you to see your 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 your, your uh, supernatural employment. It's time for you to see yourself pregnant again that you can bear the fruit of the womb. It is time, my child, to see your marriage restored. It's time it's time, it's time. I have been with you all this while. I still am with you and I will be with you until the end of time. I am cutting the head of your enemies. I am is doing it. I am is the one doing it. He's the one in charge. And as I cut down the head of your enemies, I bring them down. That's what I'm saying, my child. Cutting down the head of your enemies is what I'm doing now. I'm bringing your enemies down before you. I'm bringing your enemies down before you. I'm bringing your enemies down before you. That place or area of your life where you thought it was impossible to overcome, I'm bringing that thing down before you. I'm bringing the pain and the sorrow and the addiction down before you. I'm bringing those challenges down before you. Those people that have mocked you also, that have shamed you and spoken evil and all sorts of things against you that are unpleasant. I'm bringing them down before you. I'm bringing shame and reproach upon them. That thing that has caused you to just live a life of just, just constantly being tired and tired and tired. I'm bringing those things down before you. Hallelujah. Declares the Lord. Declares the Lord. Genesis 49 verse 8 says, Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Judah, thou art he who thy brethren shall praise. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thy enemies, my God. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. This is the Lord actually confirming to you what he said in Isaiah 60, 14. He says, the, he says thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Praise the Lord. Thy father's children shall, shall bow down before thee. Thank you, Jesus. Shada brakato soko to mali arabash. Kadrakato soko to prakada mali shakabaya. Ikarakato sodo prokoto shakabaya. God is causing these people, this thing to bow down before you. Bow down and bow out. Bow down and bow out. Look at Leviticus 26 verse 7. It says, but you will chase your enemies. You will chase your enemies and they will fall before you by the sword. You will chase your enemies and they will fall before you, child of God, by the sword. They will fall before you by the sword. 
They will fall before you by the word that you release. Hallelujah. They will bow before you. There's this movie that I just randomly found myself watching today. I am not a TV person, but a TV was on. Uh, Minister Thing was in the living room, busy doing something. And then my sister-in-law as well is in the living room and she's watching this movie. So I just happened to be in the living room and I'm feeding uh, Pearl, my two-month-old baby. So as I was feeding my baby, I lift my head up sometimes. I look at her and I lift my head up and I'll just glance at the TV and then look at her again. So out of nowhere, this movie caught my attention, you all. All of a sudden, the part of the movie that my attention caught was there's these people, they look like giants. They're so big. They're, they're like, I don't even know how many feet. They're like uh, 1,000 feet tall or something. I have no idea, but they are really huge giants in this movie. And they're just coming after these people for no reason. All they want to do is just to just take them out. All they want to do is just take out these normal people that are just living their lives normally, right? And they keep coming after them and they were on their horses, they were trying to run away from them. And these giants like kind of beings, they kept on coming after them. So eventually, as these people kept on running away from these giants, they got closer to their abode. And they had like an overseer in that place that was in charge of this place that had like people that were like warriors, right? So they were there and then there was this person that was in charge of the whole place where these people eventually got to, which was their safety, their own abode and their, and their own home. And the enemy, literally the enemy in the movie, these giant like beings were right behind them. So all of them were literally making it, making their way into the open gate for safety. And there was just one of them that was on his white horse that they were waiting for. Now they set a trap. They did how they did it. I have no, I have no idea. So something, something, something was done, and then the ground opened up. This building, this this you know abode of theirs underneath was actually water. So somehow they set fire into the water or something like that. And then they they saw that they had one more of their people coming in. So as they saw one more of their people coming in, um, the trap they set to actually consume these giants coming behind them, that, that thing, the ground, right? It kept on opening up into two. And beneath was like brimstone and fire and, and you know all of that you know you know kind of thing. And this last person was able to jump through this big gap from where he was to, to their abode, right? Trying to you know you know uh, escape from from the um, fire and everything that they had you know set for these giants coming behind. And he was able to leap all the way and and you know jump onto safe ground into the abode and then that place continued to get wider and wider where the fire was and everything and immediately as their enemies kept on coming kept on coming these giants kept on coming there were so many of them all of a sudden one of them just just fell down boom into this ground that had opened up and had so much fire and everything and like brimstone or whatever that was you know inside there and it just consumed you know um heat and then as if that wasn't enough there were there were some other giants as well that that you know came came managed to make their way into these people's abode into these people's empire and you know goes in there and then begins to attack everybody throwing things slings and you know, all all kind of things right and then eventually one of these ones that had two heads, <laughs> one of these giants that had two heads was able to, you know, grab, you know, um, one of them, one of the men, and, what, and, and then his uh, wife, and tried to kill him. But let me let you know something. Somehow, he was able to kill that thing. All he took was just one little, I don't know what it was, it was just something, and he threw it into the mouth of this giant. 
And this giant was consumed. He completely got transformed into something else. And, and his entire being just scattered everywhere. Broken pieces of his hand, his head, cut off everything, scattered everywhere. Hallelujah. And this man and his wife were able, were, you know, able to flee and run away to safety. Hallelujah. And then at the end of it, he was crowned or something like that. And the title of this movie, for those that are, you know, wondering, <laughs> praise the Lord. The title is called Jack the Giant Slayer. Amen. Jack the These people, you know, received the victory over, um, you know, all of these, you know, attacks and everything. Let me let you know the, the most beautiful part of, of this entire movie was when, at the end of it, when you know that two-headed monster giant whatever it was was you know finally killed his head cut off and his, his body is cut out everywhere then outside of that abode where the rest of the people that actually you know survived and there was this group there were many small remnants of the giants as well were still coming they were still coming from the other side and then when they came into the compound they met these people right they met the people and when they came here, they sensed that their head, the chief of them all, was cut off. He was cut down. You know what they did? These people, all of these giants now that eventually came in, when they realized that the head of them was every single one of them, right in front of all of these people, every single one of these giants, they took a bow. Shalabratato Samaria. They took a bow. These people, these giants, every single one of them, they lowered themselves to the ground and they took a bow. Somebody say hallelujah. Your enemies are taking a bow. That's what God is saying. When he gave me this word on the 30th of September at 7.36 a.m., I'm cutting the heads of the enemy. What God is saying is that he's destroying your enemies. What God is saying is that he's bringing shame and reproach upon your enemies. What the Lord God is saying is that he's bringing, he's bringing this grace to your enemies. He's about to humble your enemies. What, what the Lord God Almighty is saying is that he's bringing your enemies real low before you. They will remember been real low before you but the Lord God Almighty is saying is that he's just cutting the heads of your enemies he's just he's giving you the victory and he's defeating them before you this giant this giant this giant child of God they all every single one of them they all took a bow literally in this hollywood living they all took a bow in front of all of these people having realized that oh they're two-headed shifts giants whatever had been taken down by these little people no we're not that little after all because the god that is with us is a big big god i don't want you to, to even begin to think child of god that God has left you alone. No, he hasn't. God may have allowed the devil to torment you and attack you and afflict you and cause you to cry and be sorrowful for a while. But the Lord said in First Peter 5 10 that after you have suffered a while, the sicknesses, the afflictions, the attacks, the everything, the troubles, he says, I will restore, I will perfect, I will strengthen you, establish you, I will settle you. Many of us just give up too easily, too quickly. God is about to display a miracle in many of our lives in the church. I've seen some videos, even by um, Kenan Bridges. I've seen these videos about miracles. Have you had the testimonies that are going on? God is bringing salvation and deliverance and liberation to the body of Christ. Many of you are still doubting it. Just because, oh, it hasn't happened to me, so... Oh, just because, oh, because it happened to them doesn't mean God is going to do the same thing for me. Stay there and continue to doubt. Because the Lord is moving. 
Let me let you know something today, you all. Listen, if you follow the news, if you follow CNN, you will know that in Nigeria, there is some kind of cash famine going on where there is no cash. And I'm in Nigeria, you all. I haven't held a good amount of cash in a long time. There was a time, actually, I think last month or so, I wanted to get some things for my children and I wasn't able to. You know why? It wasn't because I didn't have no money in my bank account. Nigeria is a place where people actually accept cash, like, like they, they, they use cash more than electronic banking. It's just how it is. It's not like how the UK or the US or Canada is and everywhere is electronic, is digital. Nigeria is not that digital. No, it's not. So in the market, sometimes like you would find everybody's telling you, no, I'm not gonna accept your card or a bank transfer. I need my cash. People just prefer cash. It's a place where people just, they're not very lenient as well. Unfortunately, that's just the truth. In some cities, in some states, right? People just prefer to use cash. And there has been a, a, a cash famine since January, you all. If you have no idea, please check CNN, okay? I'm not making these things up. So today, I mean, from last week, I was actually, you know, I'm hoping that I'll be able to get some cash last week from this phone shop. I went to them. I said, if you have some cash, please let me know so that I will do a bank transfer to you. Then I'll come and pick up the, you know, the equivalent of what I transferred to you in cash. That's how bad it is. The banks are not giving cash. The banks are giving limited amount of cash. They don't care how dire your situation is or they're giving to everybody. It's only 5,000 Naira. Do you know how valueless 5,000 Naira is in Nigeria? I can get you maybe like a crate of egg, a loaf of bread, and maybe like a couple of soft drinks, and that's it for 5,000 Naira. And that's what they're saying, that they're only wanting to give per person. For how long is that going to go on? If you look at the queues in front of every bank, in Nigeria, my God, you'd be shocked. People are queuing in front of banks as early as 4 a.m. in the morning. Why? Because they're trying to get the limit of cash that the, that the uh, Central Bank of Nigeria has assigned to them. So anybody who has cash is a king of cash or a queen of cash now in Nigeria. But I got my hands on cash today, you all, because I wanted the cash. People spend the time in the money when I want to go shopping for my kids. Nobody wants to take bank transfers or take my card to make payment. So I have to have cash because we need to have food in the house. I've got four children. So that's what we're going through now. Do you understand, family? But God blessed us today that we're able to get cash today. More than what we actually thought that we could get. We got double double today family amen we're able to have double today hallelujah praise the lord the things the enemy wants to use to pull you down or cast you down god will pull it out of the way and god will bring shame upon your enemies in jesus mighty name Hallelujah. This is the week of miracle for many of you. Psalm 7, 7 verse, uh, verse 14 is becoming a living reality, a divine reality in somebody's life. The Lord is saying your enemies shall be utterly cut off. This thing that's currently happening in Nigeria, it was planned. God revealed it to me that it was planned, right? The Lord revealed it to us that it was what? Planned. They have planned it. If you know the amount of frustration it has caused in people's life, people even began to burn banks because they were tired, not having access to cash. Hallelujah. But God being faithful. Amen. Now I'm able to go, you know, go to the market tomorrow or, or whatever and be able to pay for the food items I need to pay for, for my kids. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Shala brakato sundo brakado shakapaya. E kana manana maseke to shakapale na bado shakapaya. Hallelujah. 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 Psalm 44, 44 verse 7 says, But you have saved us from our adversaries. But you have saved us from our adversaries. Amen. But you have saved us from our adversaries and you have put to shame those who hate us god is putting to shame those who hate you god is bringing down those who hate you 
these people, these giants that came after these other people, these innocent people, they all took a bow before them in fear, in awe, in respect, in honor of them. That, ooh, they took down the head, the head of our, I mean, he was the only one that had two heads. They took him down. Uh, we need to surrender right now because who knows what's going to happen. We might as well just you know, surrender and just, oh yeah, I'll just, just bow down. Wow, they all bow down. God Almighty will cause your enemies to bow before you. I said, God Almighty Jehovah will show mercy upon you, child of God. He has seen your time of suffering. He said, after a while of suffering, it must not go beyond a while. Any suffering, I prophesy right now on this live stream, any suffering that has gone beyond a while, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, by reason of 1 Peter 5.10, and by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let that suffering come to an end. I decree that suffering comes to an end. No more suffering in your life. No more shame in your life. No more reproach in your life. No more mockery in your life. No more sickness in your life. No more disease. No more affliction. No more oppression. No more depression. No more. No more. No more. In the name of Jesus Christ, let that suffering come to an end. Let the Lord lift you up, child of God, and bring down your enemies. May God be merciful to you. May God be merciful to you. May God cause his light to shine upon you. May God bring his glory upon you that you'll be able to arise and shine while the Lord, while the Lord causes your enemies to take a bow before you and hide their faces. But the Lord God Almighty cause you to arise and shine in this season. Arising out of the ashes. Arising out of brokenness. Arising out of poverty and lack. Arising out of shame and reproach. Arising because the glory of God is coming upon you now. God is bringing light into you. God is bringing light upon you. God is bringing light to what surrounds you. God is bringing light to every darkness that the devil has tried to place on the inside of you and upon you. I said, God is bringing light. I said, God, I said, God is bringing light. And when light comes in, the darkness has to disappear. It's like turning on the switch in a room. Once you turn the switch of that light in the room, there is no argument. There is no argument. The darkness has to flee and the light comes on. Once you turn on that switch, I love this analogy because Bishop Oyedepo always uses this. Bishop David. Hallelujah. When you turn on that switch, that darkness has got to go. That darkness has got to go. God is turning on his glory upon you. God is turning upon you his light. The Lord is turning his face towards you, my God. The Lord is turning his face upon you. Let it be all the glory of the Lord that you begin to see. God is revealing his glory in your life. As he causes your enemies to take a bow and hide their faces. Hallelujah. Psalm 143 verse 12 says this. And in your loving kindness, cut off my enemies. Somebody say, cut off my enemies, Lord. Somebody say, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, by your mercy, Lord. By your mercy, Lord. Cut off my enemies, Cut off my enemies. You better say it angrily, child of God. For the kingdom of God suffers violence. And the violence, they take it by force. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, by your mercy, Lord, cut off my enemies. Cut off my enemies. Let whatsoever that represents an enemy in my life, let whatsoever that represents an adversary in my life, not cut it off in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus, let whatsoever that represents sickness, shame, reproach, sorrow, afflictions, oppressions, depression, let it be cut off in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
I cut you off, devil. I cut you off my life. I cut you off my wealth. I cut you off my health. I cut you off my children. I cut you off my spouse. I cut you off my home. I cut you off my marriage. I cut you off my business, devil. I cut you off in Jesus' name. Child of God, you've got that power in you also when you open up your mouth because your mouth is like a sword. Hallelujah. When you open up your mouth and you begin to release the word of God by faith and with power, you're cutting off your enemies. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I cut off every depression of your child of God. I cut off every oppression of the enemy. I cut off that sickness. I cut off those people that they've been coming to look at you. They've been coming to monitor you. Every monitoring spirit, I cut them off you in Jesus' mighty name. Every witch, every wizard, I cut them off you in Jesus' mighty name. Your mockers, I cut them off you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The shame is cut off you in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. The Lord is cutting off the head of your enemies. The Lord is cutting off the head of your enemies. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is cutting off the head of your enemies. God is bringing some things low in your life because now is the hour to exalt you. Exalt you in your health, in your destiny, in your career, in your ministry. There is about to be multiple shifts. Multiple shifts. Multiple shifts. Multiple shifts. Begin to make space. Begin to make space. Begin to clean up and prepare for the Lord's visitation. Begin to prepare for the Lord. Hallelujah. Because you will encounter him. When you sleep, you will encounter him. In your bathroom, as the goes to take a shower, you will, you will encounter the Lord. Hallelujah. God is cutting the head of your enemies. Thus says the Lord, I am cutting the head of your enemies. Thus says the Lord, I am cutting the heads of your enemies. Thus says the Lord, I am cutting the heads of your enemies. Somebody give the Lord praise. Hallelujah. And in your loving kindness, cut up my enemies and destroy all those who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. How many of you here are the servant of the Lord? Yes, you are children of God, but you must continue to remain humble and call yourself servants too. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. The Lord is cutting off the head of your enemies in Jesus' mighty holy name. Somebody say amen in your mongopucha. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Shiro Potosa. Give the Lord thanks. Begin to give the Lord thanks. Begin to give the Lord thanks for the word that you have received. The Lord has said to me, I'm cutting off the head of your enemies on the 10th of September, 7.36 a.m., the Lord is speaking to you also, child of God. He has led me to come here and release this word. And I pray that it has blessed somebody mightily in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Somebody say, thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Lord Holy Spirit. Thank you, Master Jesus, for cutting off the head of my enemies. Thank you, Father, for cutting my enemies to bow before me in awe and fear of you and of your power and of your glory and of your name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Shala brakato sukoto bali alabash. Zatu brama kato shaka pali kito shaka tapaya. Zina barada bosu no robodo shaka tapaya. Thank you, Lord Holy Spirit. We worship you, Lord, for what you have done. Mighty warrior, fighting, fighting for us. We worship you, Lord. For what you have done, mighty warrior, fighting, fighting for us. Hallelujah. 
Aleluya. Su nombre. Ya. Aleluya. Aleluya. Mighty Thank you that your word is yes and amen. Thank you, Lord, that for everyone that has faith to believe. Because your word said in Mark, it said, if thou canst believe, if thou can believe that it that nothing shall be impossible unto you. Lord, we thank you that for those that are here now and that have received and believed this word. It shall, it shall be indeed possible unto them, Lord, that their enemies are cut down, that you lift up your people and bring down those that chose to rise up against them. In Jesus' holy name, praise the Lord. Thank you, Father God. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to just pray uh, for those who are giving and so it is time for us to bring out our seeds our offerings our tithes whatever the lord has placed on your heart to sow hallelujah tonight to give go ahead and do that amen only as the lord leads you hallelujah i usually honestly in times past because i was thinking about this um recently and while I listen to um, a servant of God as well about giving, I never used to like to ask ask uh, the church. I never want to ask anything the body of Christ to say, oh, it's time to give or bring your seeds. I would just end the live stream in life in, in a time past and just say, okay, you know, God bless you all. But I listened to him and, and something made sense. You know, you see, I don't know that there's many people in, in the body of Christ that have really abused giving in that platform of sowing and giving the Lord. But let me tell you something. What I've come to learn is this. If God has done something for you or to you, and you are led to give unto the Lord, and you don't actually give because you see, your, your giving is kind of like your faith. You're putting your faith forward saying, Lord, this word, or Lord, this healing, you know, right? So whenever we give unto the Lord, God actually sees sees and look at, or, you know, looks at us from, a, from a, a place of love that we are sacrificing to him and sees you know the spirit of faith coming alive in us as well because we chose to actually give a connection to something that lord because of this or that right and if we don't give people the opportunity and say oh give or encourage you to give as god's word has said then you don't really know the power behind giving there are many times i i've, I've listened to pastor jerry a say during their live morning services and immediately he finished praying i'm led so heavily to, to give or to sow into the world right and sometimes i feel like oh, oh no i don't have to do this right but there's something that just keeps pushing me like no you know you were blessed <laughs> you know you received something so you better log into your banking app and send a seed right and and that was the prompting i i would have i don't even know why i'm bringing this up but i pray the lord will give you understanding about, about giving and honestly i want to apologize as well to anyone whom you know um, the community or the church where you've been may have taken advantage of you or somebody you know with regards to giving um in any way i want to say i'm sorry right because there's people that have actually been taken advantage of there's some pastors right i don't want to have to be judgmental but i want to call good good and i want to call evil evil so this is not how it's supposed to be, right? So, but I want you to also understand, once again, there's power in your giving. And if you have that seed of faith to give, and the Lord 
His Holy Spirit leads you to give in connection to a word or something God has done for you. Even if it's something that you saw God did for somebody else. I have given and sowed a seed where somebody, you know, I heard their testimony. And I gave in connection to that testimony to say, Lord, thank you for what you did for that person. There's nothing wrong with that as well. It could be a family member or somebody you don't even know. And you hear their testimony and this person is in Japan. And you say, Lord... I want to sow into this testimony, right? To say thank you for what you've done in their lives. Or because I'm trusting you for the same thing, Lord, right? So there's power in your giving. Now, let me pray for those who are giving. Now that I've gotten that word out of the way. Father, in Jesus' mighty name, how awesome and let there indeed be a turnaround in their finances let there indeed be breakthrough in their finances the ones that have given on me they not lack in jesus mighty name those that are into business into investment oh lord let, let there be returns and profits lord in the name of jesus christ of nazareth let the blessing of god overflow in your life in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah i speak multiplication i speak increase i, I, I speak Fruitfulness over all that concerns you in your life, child of God, because you have given, because you have sown in Jesus' mighty holy name. And I just want to pray showers of blessings over you once again in Jesus' mighty name. And for those that don't have to give, I pray the Lord will bless you with seed to be able to sow into his kingdom in Jesus' mighty holy name. Praise the Lord. The Lord bless you all in Jesus' mighty name. God sees your heart and he will multiply all that you have given into the body of Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to just welcome those who are here for the first time and just encourage you to connect with Christ in much. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I want to say this prayer of salvation real quick before we go off oh, family amen because we have some people here that you may not know and they want to understand they want to give their lives to jesus hallelujah let's say this prayer of salvation real quick say after me oh lord god i come to you today lord jesus i believe you died for me i believe you were raised up on the third day i receive your mercy and i receive your forgiveness i receive your holy spirit lord jesus into my spirit I declare I'm saved, I'm born again, and I am redeemed in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. I pray the Lord will grant you grace and stay in connection with him in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Please get a Bible either on your phone or a hard copy Bible and stay in the word of the Lord. The word of God is able to build you up and give you an inheritance in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. The Lord loves you all so much. Be encouraged. Be blessed. Subscribe if you haven't actually subscribed and uh, join you in Church. Hallelujah. And click on the bell to be notified when we go live or upload a video. The mandate upon this ministry is to release the word of hope, healing, and restoration. All right, you all. I love you all so much. God bless you. And may this word today become flesh in your lives. God is cutting off the heads of your enemies. Once again, this week is a week of miracles. Hallelujah. It's a week of miracles. Hallelujah. Let us wait upon the Lord and trust in the Lord and, and continue to declare Psalm 77 verse 14 in the morning when you wake up and in the night before you go to bed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Also, next week. April 7th is Mercy and Grace Night of Miracles. Oh my goodness. If you were here, Mercy and Grace Night of Miracles 2022, April 7th. Can I get an amen in the live chat? Hallelujah. Amen. Mercy and Grace Night of Miracles. If you've forgotten what that was like, I, I, I don't know what to say, but it's happening again uh, this year. The Lord told me to do this every year with you all. Mercy and Grace, something will break something if nothing happens throughout all of these live streams on that night there will be miracles there will be healing there will be everything because i literally on on that that entire period up until when we go live i am in a complete dry fast without eating or drinking and seeking on your behalf so you need to come and connect your faith on that live stream amen so april 7 mercy and grace Night of Miracles will take place with myself, humbly, by grace, Apostle Glenn. I'll be the one here to and it will be an amazing time in the presence of God. 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So share and, and you know, tell somebody. May the Lord bless you as you do in Jesus' mighty name. All right, you all. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I will see you all very soon. Shalom, family. I love you all so much. Thank you.